All right, well, I'm here at Craigslist Boot Camp in Berkeley, California, 2010, I'm talking with Jane Slusser from Catch a Fire. She's the chief service officer of a new web service that's helping uh, people volunteer in innovative ways. Hi, Jane. Tell us a little bit about Catch a Fire. Hello. Um, at Catch a Fire, we connect professionals who want to volunteer their skills with both nonprofits and social enterprises who need their help. Great. And uh, so, uh, where are you located? Um, we are in New York City right now. Okay. We only service nonprofits in the New York City area, um, as well as volunteers in that area. And how long has the service been around? Um, we have been around for about a year now, um, but we've only been offering our service since April. So, so compared to other groups like Taproot Foundation um, or One Brick, uh, how do you, where do you see your role in this? Um, we offer a slightly different service. All of our projects um, have three things in common. One is that they are short term, so they're things that our volunteers can complete in less than three months and less than five hours of time a week. Um, the next thing is that they're all individuals, so rather than send in a team in the way that Taproot might, we only send in one person to work with you, um, which we think is helpful for organizations because they're not managing a team, they really bring on somebody who's helping out um, support them and, and take the lead on it. And finally, all of our projects are designed to be discrete, meaning there's a concrete deliverable attached that you know what you're getting at the end um, and whether or not that's been delivered. And what kind of projects can nonprofits expect to get uh, completed? Um, they can expect to get any kind of project that um, uses a professional skills. Right now, the projects on our menu focus on communications, public relations, social media, marketing, and design. But we will be rolling out new projects which deal with strategy, with multimedia, so there will be video, which is very exciting. Um, and um, further in the future, we will offer um, technology projects as well as finance and um, probably some human resources projects as well. And what's the background of the team? And, and is that is there a connection between your personal backgrounds as a team and the kinds of projects you're currently uh, enabling? Um, well, the reason, the types of projects that we have right now are really related to what we talk to nonprofits about. So, um, in the last year, we've talked to hundreds and hundreds of nonprofits, and um, the reason we came up with the project menu was that we noticed that they weren't telling us hundreds and hundreds of different needs. They kept saying the same sorts of things that fit into a pattern. Um, and rather than having every nonprofit write up a project description, we thought we can do that really well, and we can bring in somebody who is an industry professional who can offer the details on what that project looks like so that a nonprofit can see what is really involved there and so that somebody signing up to volunteer has a really good idea that that's something that they can do in five hours of time. Um, and the reason we focus mostly on um, communications and marketing and social media is simply that those were the top priorities that we kept having identified by our nonprofits. Great, and so I know that there's a, a prominent website, uh, catchafire.org. Is What's <laughs> going to be the role of the website in the service delivery? Um, well, pretty much everything happens on the website. Um, volunteers go and they sign up there. They tell us about uh, who they are, what their background is, what they're passionate about, um, and they're able to look at the different types of projects that we offer. And that is the same portal that our nonprofits and our social enterprises come through. They tell us who they are, what they do, what they care about, and what projects they need help with. And so all of the matching really happens there, which is important for us because that means that um, we can actually scale and service you know, the many, many nonprofits throughout the United States. Great, and so uh, just, just to reaffirm, which organizations can actually use the service right now? Um, right now we are only serving organizations that are in the New York City area, um, but we will hopefully be coming to an area near you soon. Mm -hmm. um, and we serve both nonprofits who have their 501c3 status, we serve nonprofits who do not have that status yet but are forming, and we also service early stage social enterprises that need our help. Great. Well, I want to say thank you so much for allowing us to learn more about catchafire.org. Thank you.